Let's take a look at reverse voltage protection, and we're going to use a P-channel MOSFET to do that. But first, we'll take a look at a, uh, a, a MOSFET switch, an N-channel and a P-channel, okay? Now, the N-channel on the gate needs to have a positive voltage on the gate to turn on, and this happens to be a logic level chip, so it can only handle about 8 volts on the gate, So, and we have 12 volts, uh, you know, source, so we're going to have to bring that back down. So, we have our uh, source is grounded, the drain goes to load, and then we have our VCC up here. Now, when we turn this on, we go through this resistor, through the uh, zener here, and we have negative on this side, positive on this side, so we'll have positive uh, 5 volts on the gate, and it's going to turn on. And this 10K is just there, so when we open the switch, uh, the gate goes to ground and turns off the uh, the MOSFET will turn off. Now, this, this resistor here is just to... Uh, keep the current in the down on the uh, the zener here now here's the formula I use for that the uh, ITZ the test current for this particular one is 49 milliamps and uh, but and that's why you picked the 140 ohms but um, that's kind of the max you can have so I would go with a 1k up here and there's n no load on this thing so uh, we don't have to worry about regulating here so uh, yeah I'd go with a 1k now, on the P-channel, it needs to have a negative voltage on the gate to turn on, okay? So, uh, we have the sources tied to the positive, and then the drain goes to load and ground up here. So, what happens with this one here is when we turn it on, same thing, we come through here, and we'll have our negative voltage up here, positive down here, so we'll have negative 5 volts onto the uh, gate. It's going to turn on and turn our load on, and then the 10K here, when we open the switch, it's going to bring it down. It's going to bring the gate positive and turn it off. Okay. So that's how your your MOSFET switch works. But now, on this uh, volt, reverse voltage protection up here, we're going to instead of having the the um, the source positive, we're going to take the drain and make that positive here because there's an internal diode in that MOSFET here, and it we need to be in this direction here. Okay. So Positive voltage is going to come through. It's going to come through the, this is off, but it's going to come through the diode. We're going to put, uh, well, we'll have probably, uh, you know, 11.3 volts up here. And then we have our, our zener in here. And we have uh, the other side tied to ground through this 10K. And that we're going to get negative 5 volts onto the, uh, the gate here. And that's going to turn our load on for us, okay? Now, if we've, make a mistake and we put negative here and positive down here the gate's going to go uh, positive so it's not going to turn on but we're going to actually have positive voltage up here through the load but it can't go through this diode here back to the uh, to negative side over here and short it out so that's going to keep us from uh, shorting this thing out so uh, in this direction if we have positive here it's going to turn a load on and if we put negative up here and positive down here nothing's going to happen it's just going to sit there so That'll protect our circuit from, uh, you know, if we make a mistake uh, with our power supply here. So, I put it together. So, what I did is I have, uh, this is our voltage uh, protection, and this happens to be a P-channel switch over here that I put in here. And then I have our, our you see, I have our 12-volt uh, lamp here. So, Turns our lamps on. We have our 12 volts. Can you see that on there? We have our 12 volts there. And uh, so I'm going to unplug it. And I'm going to put the reverse in here. And there we go there. So current went up a little. I got negative 14 volts. The light doesn't, doesn't light up. And I'm not going to, I'm, I'm not wrecking anything in my circuit here. So a good little unit to uh, to protect your circuit because uh, you know I've uh, hooked the leads up uh, wrong several times and burnt stuff up so this is just a good little uh, circuit to use to uh, uh, keep you from doing that so I can put it back in the uh, proper way and the light will come on so uh, very good and uh, that's uh, reverse voltage protection just an easy way to do it and uh, very good this this happened this uh, oh one more thing here now are we going to need a heat sink on this okay so 
say I have a 3 amp load here, okay? Now the power is uh, is equal to the RDS, which is the drain source uh, resistance, times the current squared, okay? So our 3, three amps squared, okay? And now the RDS is, uh, down here it's 0.5 ohms. It's very, very small, okay? So I take our 0.5, uh, 0 0.05 times or say 9 amps, so that's going to be 0 0.5, 0 0.45 watts, okay, that we're going to dissipate across this thing. Now, the R theta JA on the, on the spreadsheet, which is your um, uh, centigrade per watt, is 62.5 degrees centigrade per watt, okay, and the TJ, which is our junction temperature, can be 175 degrees centigrade, and the ambient is say 25 degrees okay so the power dissipated is going to be your uh, your 175 minus the 25 and we're going to divide that by the uh, this uh, r theta j a okay so when we do that it comes out to 2.4 watts so we can have 2.4 watts of course we only have 0.45 watts on here so uh, we're, we're good we won't need to have a, a heat sink on this if we're just going to run uh, three amps through this this unit here now the diode's actually good for, uh, you know, twenty or the MOSFET's good for twenty-four amps, but uh, with three, we'll, we'll be good. Now, if you look in the in the spreadsheet, it says that this thing's good for sixty watts, okay? But that's if you can dissipate the the heat, okay? If you if you run in more current through there, uh, without a heat sink, you can't go up to sixty watts. You can only go up to two two point four watts. So uh, anything greater than that, you have to dissipate that heat through a heat sink. But uh, so that's a little way to calculate to see if you actually need a heat sink or not. So at our three three amps, we're we're going to be pretty good there. So uh, yeah. So that's uh, reverse voltage protection, and thank you.